So now in this video, we're gonna measure capacitance again. This time when they are in series, we can do a 20 microfarad now because we'll never have a measurement higher than that. And we can move the black probe to uh, the capacitor reading there. Sometimes you will use the red probe there. That's when you measure uh, milliamps of current, but we're not gonna worry about that in this video. And we have to turn the power on for this uh, multimeter there. Now, let's uh, zoom up so the lamp doesn't uh, get that glare on there. We're gonna measure the capacitors again. So these are the same ones from the last video. And for some reason they're showing slightly lower right there. Oh, because we set the meter to the uh, lower setting, we were measuring 200 microfarad or less in the last video and uh, now it's 20 microfarad or less. That'll be more accurate, so this should be a more accurate reading. Now we're gonna measure the two of them, and you're gonna see, instead of uh, above 11, now we got about five and a half for the two of them in series. When you put capacitors in series, their uh, capacitance actually goes down. So now what we're gonna do is measure voltage. So when you're measuring capacitance, you wanna make sure there's uh, no voltage source applied to them, and we are gonna make sure that the meter doesn't accidentally measure voltage well. It is set to capacitance. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Put black back to calm and uh, set our voltage. So we're gonna be below uh, 20 volts. We're gonna use five volts. The meter's all set for uh, measuring five volts and we're gonna bump up the power supply. It's already five volts. Um, it's off though. I'll turn it on right now so that we know that it's on when we start doing our measurements and stuff. So. One at a time, we're gonna take the capacitor. This one we're gonna to put to the uh, positive supply up there. Let's leave a space for the other one. They're polarized. That side has to be uh, more negative towards the more negative side of the circuit. And we got uh, this one here. So they were both uh, mostly discharged. Maybe the, the uh, multimeter does uh, power them a bit while it is checking their capacitance. So they may have had a voltage on it. Ideally, they would have no voltage, but in any case, Let's look at the voltage across the two of them. And uh, you can see that uh, it's five volts right there. Now, when we just measure the voltage of one, you can see of that five volts, only about two and a half is across that capacitor. And uh, this capacitor also has two and a half. You can see though that they are not equal. It is unbalanced. We're actually discharging that capacitor a little bit through the multimeter. And uh, so now this one has a higher one but now we're discharging this one a little bit through the uh, multimeter. So it's making them unbalanced. Um, that's something to be aware of. You have to make sure that they stay uh, balanced. And uh, one way by doing that is to make sure that you're not drawing current from one or the other because the voltage will transfer from one into the other. So that doesn't affect their capacitance. Um, uh, we'll look at this in another video. But uh, what it does is it might make one go to an unsafe voltage or a reverse voltage if uh, things work out right. So before we go to the diagram, I'm gonna set the voltage to a uh, safe voltage that we'll never uh, measure and then turn the power off so we don't accidentally damage the meter later on when we use it again. So in this schematic diagram, you can see that we have two 10 microfarad capacitors in series. Their voltage is uh, rated for 50 volts each. I don't know if uh, we'll get that to show up or not. Um, let's see, uh, you might be able to see that down there, uh, 50 volts. In any case, that's the uh, voltage rating for each of them. And as we saw before, though, when we put five volts across of them, if they were perfectly balanced, they both would have had 2.5 volts across them. So each one of them is only getting half of the total uh, voltage. So we could, in theory, charge them both up to 100 volts and that'd be perfectly fine. You won't want to touch that, you get shocked. But uh, in any case, uh, we could charge them up to 100 volts and their capacitance would be the equivalent of uh, five microfarad. We saw that when we took the measurement. Um, so. It's uh, confusing, I know. I found it confusing when I first heard they had a lower capacitance. But if you think about it, if you put in one milliamp of current, usually you're putting that into uh, one capacitor and uh, based on its capacitance, you get a certain amount of voltage. But you notice here there's, uh, I mean, current flows through everything in series, the same. So you put one milliamp of current into one capacitor. There's also one milliamp of current going into the other uh, capacitor. So they're both charging 
they're both getting a voltage rise and their voltages rise up rises add up and uh, so ultimately it's like having a small or a capacitor because the voltage is going to rise twice as fast because it's a single current source so in any case uh, I'm sure that's confusing but uh, the more you look at uh, circuits like this the more you will understand it so the capacitors must be equal value again same currents flowing into uh, both of them if you have a lower value capacitor it's going to get a voltage rise much faster than the other one you could exceed its maximum voltage rating really easily so the simplest way is just to use equal value capacitors and as long as they stay balanced you'll know that uh, they have an equal share of the voltage if you had three in series you'd have one third the capacitance but you could charge it up to three times the current um, so in any case this is my short video series and this is probably the longest uh, video I made in this series so far so we're just going to end it there. Make sure you check out one of the other videos posted on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.